These magnificent creatures are horses. They're mammals like us. Horses evolved to be very fast runners, which meant they could escape predators. Your average horse can run or gallop at around 44 kilometers per hour or 27 miles per hour. Speedy race horses can run even faster. You'd think all that running around would mean horses need to sleep a lot, but they don't. Most horses sleep around three hours a day, usually in short bursts of 10 to 20 minutes at a time. Horses can sleep standing up or lying down. When a horse sleeps standing up, they lock their legs to prevent falling over. It's really more like dozing. When they need a deep sleep, they lie down just like us. Horses have the biggest eyes out of any land mammal. Their large eyes are located on the side of their head, which allows them to see 360 degrees all around them. Galloping, sleeping, standing up, and being able to see in all directions helps keep horses safe from predators. Horses that are not domesticated are known as wild horses. They live free in nature. They can be found galloping about all around the world, but most live in North America. In fact, half of all wild horses in the United States live in Nevada. They often travel in packs of three to 20. But most of the horses we know and love are pets, or they work with people. It's believed horses became domesticated by humans around 4,000 years ago. Humans ride horses and ask horses to pull heavy objects like carts. Horses were essential to human civilization before the invention of the engine. Today, they are used more for pleasure rides and basic farm work. Some horses are very big. Other horses are tiny. The size of horses is measured with an unusual unit, hands. One hand is four inches. So if a horse is 15 hands, that means it stands 60 inches or five feet tall. It may surprise you that such large animals can be so graceful. Some of how a horse moves is inherited. Horses are born knowing how to walk and can run shortly after birth. Of course, it takes a long time for a new little horse to be born. Horse pregnancies typically last 11 to 12 months. Baby horses are called foals until they are one year old. There are all sorts of special names for horse families. A female horse is called a mare. A male horse is known as a stallion. A young female is called a filly, and a young male is a colt. A mother horse is called a dam, and a father horse is called a sire. Horse breeders can trace back the family tree or pedigree of their horses for many generations. There are over 400 breeds of horses, but these breeds can be grouped into five major types of breeds. These five types are draft horses, light horses, gated horses, warm bloods, and ponies. Draft horses were bred by people to carry and pull heavy loads. Draft horses are tall and strong. They are on average 16 hands and can carry twice their weight for short distances. Their temperament is very calm. They are gentle giants. People bred light horses for the opposite reason of draft horses. Light horses are great for riding. They are known for their speed, agility, and endurance. They vary in size, weight, build, and color. The only thing they share in common is their ability to be trained under saddle. Under saddle means they can wear a saddle that a person uses to ride a horse. Light horses are considered hot-blooded, meaning they have high energy and are easily excitable. Gated horses are also bred for riding and to be trained under saddle. They are known for their smooth riding. Gated horses have three gaits, walk, trot, and gallop. In the past, gated horses were considered a gentleman's horse. They were used by military officers and men of wealth. Warm bloods are bred to be a cross between draft horses and light horses. They are tall, fast horses with a great temperament and often dominate riding sports like dressage, jumping, harness, and equestrian sports in the Olympics. Ponies are the tiniest of horses. They are known for being under 14.2 hands. Ponies can also be used for riding, jumping, pulling, plowing, and more. They're great little guys. All horses are vegetarian and are known as grazers. Grazing means they like to nibble on food like grass throughout the day. They also eat hay, grain, and treats like apples. Horses have to eat constantly because their digestive system isn't very efficient. The stomach of a horse is much smaller in relation to the horse, 
so they can't eat two to three times a day like humans. Instead, they need to eat small meals throughout the day. It's all their stomachs can handle. There are also non-horse equines or animals that look like horses but aren't exactly horses. However, these animals can breed with horses. These include donkeys and zebras. When a mare and a male donkey breed, the mare gives birth to a mule. Mules can be domesticated and have been used to pull freights in the Old West. When a horse and a zebra breed, they give birth to a zorse. Zebras are very difficult to domesticate, but it is possible to domesticate a zorse. Both mules and zorses are sterile, meaning they can't have babies. Aw, they're so cute. Did you ever see horses during a parade? Let's have our own parade of horses. How many of these horse breeds do you know? American Paint Horse. American Quarter Horse. Andalusian Horse. Appaloosa. Arabian Horse. Basque Mountain Horse. Clydesdale Horse. Curly Horse. Ethiopian Horse. Hanoverian Horse. Icelandic Horse. Lipazan or Lipazaner. Mangalarga Marchador. Miniature Horse. Mizaki Horse. Morgan Horse. Mustang Horse. Namib Desert Horse. Tennessee Walking Horse. And finally, Thoroughbred. What do you think of horses? Have you ever ridden a horse? How about a pony? What is another animal you want us to talk about? Let us know in the comments section below. We want to know what you think. Now it's time to watch another video from Socratica Kids all about animals. How about a video on owls or big cats? Go ahead and click on one. You get to decide.